Happy weekend, everybody. It's Rob Barrington here, and this is the Weekend Pro-Am Tournament, and uh, it's board number one. Uh, for those of you that haven't signed up yet, you can sign up right in the description. I've left a link for you. Uh, you can sign up and play in this every single week. Uh, you sign up one time, you'll play forever. Uh, for those of you that signed up this past week, uh, you'll be in next week, and so on and so forth. So uh, keep piling in, folks. And play this along with me every week. So let's start with board one. And we're faced with an interesting decision right away. It goes past one heart on our right. And this is our hand. We have this really nice 14 count with king 10, 9, 6 of hearts. Um, th there are two choices here. Uh, honestly, there's only one really normal choice, which is pass. Um, what you're excuse me, what you're hoping for is that partner reopens the auction with a double, which you intend to pass for penalty. Uh, that's your best option. The other option you might see some people make is bid one no trump with this hand. Um, a little scary to do that. Uh, now that partner bids a spade in the balancing seat, now it's kind of a question of what do we do. We're going to bid a no trump, and we're going to see what they do. And they keep bidding, folks, so I'm going to bid three no trump. Right, if they're, if they're going to keep bidding, they're going to have some extra raise. They should have about 10 or 11 here or just some wacky shape that we might be able to deal with. Here, there's a nice 10 count. Uh, not an unexpected lead, obviously. <laughs> this is pretty normal stuff here. Um, question is, what do we pitch from dummy? It's really tough right away. The spade trick, the spade card might be a trick. The clubs might all be tricks. The diamond is least likely to be a trick. And here, we'll see what they do here. They're, they're certainly entitled to two hearts, right? And the question is, how many spades are they gonna take? Uh, and the answer is going to be hopefully only one. <laughs> so let's decide what we're going to do. First of all, let's count the points, right? Let's just take, I'm going to take my time this week, right? I'm going to try not to have too many just disasters. So so here's 14 total points. Here's 10 in dummy. That's 24. And this player has opened the bidding here. Let's give them 12, right? 12 or 13 pretty much. So that's 36 on a minimum, which means this player has about four points. Well, what are their possible points? Well, the King of Diamonds is a possible point. The Jack of Clubs, uh, maybe the Ace of Spades, but that seems unlikely. Uh, sorry, Jack of Spades, excuse me, and the Jack of Clubs as well. Uh, the Ace of Spades is almost assuredly to my right. Uh, that's the one thing I know. So here, I'm going to play a spade. See what they do here. I'm going to play it to the 10, right? We're going to maybe... Okay, good. That was a nice thing, same thing to see here. Let's hope we don't see the ace. There we go. And now we get to set up the clubs. And the worst thing they can do here... Uh, I mean, they can cash a couple hearts and set up heart tricks for us. I don't think they'll cash the second one, though, once they see the bad news. And here is... Oh, they didn't see the bad news. They might cash it. Yep, yeah, I forget. Ah, there we go. Game over. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Robot. I don't know. Is it, it? Do you think it's a husband and wife robot team? Um, if so, there's a lot of interesting discussions going on in the robot household after these games, for sure. Uh, here we go, folks. We'll, we'll just take plus 430 there. Kind of lucky the way we bid this hand that it ends up this way. Let's just hop over to the results stream and see what's doing here. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's weird. We kind of took the timid route. We passed initially, and to be honest... I would have loved double over there by that hand. I can see why our partner bit a spade. They have five of them, but they're void in hearts, and it went past to them. I mean, give us a double here, partner. And now we play one heart doubled. We basically, uh, I mean, hopefully we lead a club on this hand, and that would be the best case scenario for us. We would take a whole bunch of tricks and command this entire hand defensively. Uh, but we'll take as a second score, three no trump making four. And we didn't really bid anything crazy. We only bid a no trump. We could have bid two no trump, I suppose. But I, I kind of started to stay low here. But once they decided to bid two clubs, I figured enough was enough. Uh, it's time to get in there and, and bid the game that we probably can make. Uh, and as it turned out, we did okay here. They can do a little better. Look at that diamond position. Uh, we did well by guessing spades correctly, obviously. Uh, we could have guessed spades correctly in one other way which means that we're probably around average ish here if we played low to the king our queen was going to crater the jack and now the the uh, 10 was going to be a good trick and that's kind of the only way you can play it if you play low to the king so maybe not it's it's maybe not an amazing score our best probably would have been defending one heart double that would have been the dream score our partner didn't let us do it let's continue on to hand number two. Ooh, that is is that 20 yeah uh, it's 20. It is not enough to open two clubs and just show hearts. 
I just have too many losers on this hand. But I'm certainly going to game force if allowed to. And there it is, folks. I'm just going to bid 3 no. Here I'm going for kind of a match point score, folks. Um, I'm bidding 3 no Trump because I happen to know I we have probably more than uh, just 25. As it turns out, we only have 26. But I don't want to miss the game. And also, also... I think we might be able to gain match points when we don't have a wide open suit, which luckily we don't. Uh, the club suit is is double stopped for us, thank goodness. And now we're going to play a heart to the queen. And here we just have to make sure we have to we have to watch and understand how many tricks we're going to take in hearts. Right. So in hearts, we're we're going to be able to pitch a spade on that king of clubs. And that's going to end up being our uh, our extra trick. We're going to be able to rough. Uh, we're going to be able to rough that small spade over there. And this, we might be able to end up with a little squeeze situation. Unfortunately, it's not really going to work out well for us because we're going to be playing only from our hand. So here, we're going to be careful. We're going to play the queen of spades. I'm just I'm afraid to lose that finesse right now. I'm going to enter the dummy with the ten of hearts. And now I'm going to cash the king of clubs and plunk down this ten of spades. All right. And now, folks, I can make another choice in diamonds. I could play a diamond from dummy and try to guess this, any sort of situation. I'm just going to play hearts and hope they pitch incorrectly, folks. So here I'm going to pitch a diamond right away. And now I'm going to pitch a club. And I like seeing, I love seeing anybody pitch diamonds. Let's go, folks. Um, okay, it didn't look like it was going to work well for us. There's the queen. All right, we'll see. Three no Trump making four. And oh, wait, realized I forgot my trick counter, so it's up there for the next hand. Uh, but let's take a quick peek. Could we have done better? Uh, well, first off, we just need to see. Uh, <laughs> we need to see what the situation was in spades. And in fact, the spade position was terrible for us, right? Ace, jack, third to our left. Uh, don't want to move this around, folks. I just want to get my, my whiteboard here for us, right? And so here bad position of spades right and they found the perfect lead against no trump um if we play four hearts folks we're going to i mean eventually i think we're going to have to lose a heart and one other trick i suppose um who knows we'll find out we'll, we'll see what happens uh in the wash there folks but notice the spade position we can't solve ourselves right we need uh we need them to lead from our left side essentially all right uh, back to business. This is a no trump opener in every universe. Ooh, okay, two diamonds. Uh, we we have we have as one of our tools a super accept uh, of transfers. Let me just remind you that we super accept with four card support and a maximum. So we would never super accept here. We'd like that we have support, but we we do not have a maximum. So we just bid two arts partner makes a splinter bit, I believe. Yep, that shows shortness in clubs. It's not the worst shortness, but it's certainly not the best shortness, right? I would prefer to have three points. If I had these three points somewhere else, here, here, or here, and this was three small, I would continue even with a minimum. With this bare minimum and queen jack third of clubs, I think it's time to bail out. Hopefully we're we're not in a terrible spot. The good news, bad news is take a look. The good news is if we're playing six hearts and they lead this, we're not making it, folks. We are not making it because they'll have knocked out our diamond, and we're not going to be able to pitch anything, folks, until we get out the ace of clubs. And once we get out the ace of clubs, they're going to have a diamond to cash. So happy if that is, in fact, the lead that they intend to make against the slam that we could have bid. Uh, here, this hand's going to be very simple to play. Um, you know, well, there's, there's a sneak... Maybe we sneak a trick in here, right? This is our only chance, right? Not not that they're going to duck this, but maybe they don't switch to a diamond, and you give them the chance to do that. Here, you know, we, we, we could run the spades, but it's just going to make it even easier for them to make a decision. So in this case, we just make the decision for them very quickly. And we're in four hearts making five. So we're going to do better than anybody that bid slam on this. Uh, we think, right, as long as they lead a diamond against that slam. <laughs> if they lead something else... Especially a club. Now, now they're uh, they're gonna dance and slam and make twelve tricks easily. Ooh, look at this! Our partner opens a diamond. Ooh, we like this. Uh, we're gonna make an inverted minor suit raise. Partner bids two hearts, which should show more than a minimum. Uh, what's four diamonds here? Okay, some people play that as kind of key card for diamonds. Uh, partner bid. Well, let's 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 pull out a little rope here. Um, let's see if partner has a spade 
trick first. So we're going to bid three clubs. Partner bids three, no trump. So what did we do, folks? Well, let's slow it down a bit. When we make an inverted minor suit raise, the reason we actually play this as inverted, meaning this is 10 or more points, this two diamond bid we made over here, is so that we have time to discuss the viability of three no trump. And we want to know that because we don't want to be wide open in especially a major suit, which on these auctions we have very few of historically, right? We're showing minor suit uh, fits here. So in this case, we're trying to figure out, first off, do, do we have enough to play slam, which we're close with for sure. And this two heart bid suggests that partner's not a total minimum because if they were, they would just bid three diamonds. So this said, hey, partner, I have a stopper in hearts. And we, in fact, should have been saying to them, okay, partner, I still want to try to play three no and I have a stopper in clubs and I can't bid no trump myself. And this says, okay, I have some spade stoppage. I would wish this was quantitative. It's not. It's key card for diamonds, but I'm going to bid it anyway. Partner has one or four key cards. Well, we have to have four key cards. So partner has one. That's five. Uh, the question is, do we bid six no trump or six diamonds? Um, I'm going to bid slam and diamonds. Uh, I'm happy to play in a slam where, you know, I can actually take a rough here or there if I need it. And on this one, you can see I may, in fact, need it uh, in in uh, in the club suit, right? I, I, I see this opening lead and I hate it by the way because it means the club finesse is likely losing um, but when I look at this in a no trump fashion I, I'm I'm better off in this contract because I'm going to get at least one club rough and I'm going to get some pitches on those hearts over there um, the question is how do I make sure I, I can take 12 tricks and the answer is well <laughs> we might need a little bit of help on that uh, we might need some finessage to to be working as well when I see this two of clubs lead I kind of know that um, my partner does, I'm sorry, my, my left-hand opponent does not have the king of clubs. Or excuse me, the leader does not have the king of clubs, right? They're not going to lead away from a king in this situation against the slam, right? It's almost never going to happen. But do I have any way to get rid of my club losers? Well, only if hearts divide amazingly well, and then I still maybe have a spade loser over here. Right, so well, the question is, what do I do? Do I play the queen of clubs? Do I play a low club? Um, I mean, if, if it goes low club to the king and then low spade, what am I going to do? That's It's kind of a brutal situation. We could just hop up with the ace of clubs and then draw some trump and see what's going on here. Um, outside of having singleton jack of hearts in the mix, I'm not sure how we kind of go about dealing with this hand without taking at least some sort of finesse. And look, I mean, I... I, I'm only going to be able to pitch likely one card on a heart, right? But I can also rough that card over there. So this is probably going to be the better card to pitch on that, and then a spade finesse is going to have to be successful. Um, it already looks like the club finesse is not successful, but it looks like a finesse that we're just going to take here. And I'm going to take it in this way, right? And I expected that to lose, but I haven't. And here it is. <laughs> Here it is, folks. Now they're just putting us to the ridiculous test in spades. I think we may be able to get a little squeeze situation out of this. Uh, this just leads me to believe that the spades are also wrong for us. So here, I'm going to win the ace of spades. I'm going to play a diamond of the ace. I'm going to rough a club at some point. All right, so let's go over to the queen of diamonds. All right, great. Now let's play a club to the ace. And we're going to rough a club. Doesn't We even rough this small or high. This is just kind of an order of operations thing here. Now I'm just going to play some diamonds. right? And there's a hard pitch. We like that. And there's another hard pitch. We like that. There's another hard pitch. Wow. So that's nine total hearts. We want more of that. I'm going to pitch a spade. Ten. Hands over, folks. All right. This is why we count. We only wanted to count hearts in this one because that's the suit that's relevant for us. Uh, what was the spade situation? Were they really protecting something over there? Interesting. Uh, so, yeah, both finesses were off, but the heart suit ends up providing us the extra tricks we need. And look at that. Oh, my goodness. That's why. Uh, boom. In the slot. Jack 9-8, right? So no matter what we did on this hand, that little holding, even though the spade was wrong for us here, 
and the club was wrong for us here. This heart holding is a is a winner winner chicken dinner situation. So we can't pitch enough on this end, or at least we can't pitch enough quickly enough to make it worth our while. And the opponents did a really good job of putting us to the test right away. There it is. We lose that. It wouldn't have mattered if we played low. They would have won the jack. And here came here came that decision right away. And that's not the easiest decision to make, but uh, it's one that we will be happy that we did make on this squad. No Trump was not going to be too good. Um, well, let's see. Uh, no Trump would have been, let's get back to the very original version here. No Trump would have been four hearts, five diamonds is nine, and the two aces. Uh, but if a spade is led, you might be able to get a 12th trick in uh, spades before they get the rest. All right. Let's get back in business. Two hearts passed to us. That's uh, four hearts, folks. Um we have a nine card hard fit. We have quick winners. Quick winners are amazing, amazing situations to have when you have a long, long fit in Trump suit. So here we're going to draw Trump right away. And our, our job is to play spades as quickly as we can. And we do not want them leading a club. Oh, well. Best thing is that left-hand opponent led the club, so they didn't do any damage to us in this situation. Uh, I think we can claim, yeah, we're good. We are good, plus 650. Next chance to excel. Wow, very nice 17-point hand with six cards in the diamond suit. You might see some of the top experts opening to no with this one. I don't think it's quite enough. Um, perfect here. Three hearts. This is just natural. Oh, it's 5-5. Five, five. Good. We don't have a fit either spot, so we suggest no trump. And, of course, they lead that unbid suit, which is pretty darn good bridge for those robots over there. This is a classic hold-up situation. We want them to switch. They are not complying, unfortunately. What do we pitch from dummy? It's a good question. Probably a spade. That's less likely to be trickage for us on this one. All right, folks. Now what do we do? Well, we can set up diamonds, and then we can give them a trick. And if they only have one club trick, now maybe we just have to get to decide which finesse we take. Uh, let's count our winners right off the bat. I have two diamonds and a club. That's three. A heart is four and a spade is five. <laughs> it's a, not too many tricks out there, folks. And also, we know we only had four clubs, so the opponents are five, four-ish some way. Uh, if we knock out the diamond and they block clubs, maybe we can scrape together enough tricks with one of the finesses to be successful. Let's think of another way, though. Um, if we play, let's say, a spade to the jack in that one. Let's say the heart and spade kings are onside, right? At the last hand, they were both offside, or in the sixth diamond hand, they were both offside. Here, let's pretend they're both onside. Well, that means we could take three spades. Two hearts is five, and two diamonds is seven. And that's still only eight tricks. Um, if the king of hearts is doubled in, we'll do really well in that scenario. But that seems like a heck of a lot to hope for. I think this is maybe easier to hope for on this one. Um, I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to give them this diamond and hope it worked out somehow. Ooh, okay. They hooked us up with this decision here. This usually suggests that the hearts are wrong for us. And here we know these diamonds are good for us. Ten of spades is pitched to our right. There we go. Another heart. And here I just need to keep that spade over there for the finesse. And the finesse was not going to win. Was the heart finesse winning? Please tell me now. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> and they had a bunch of clubs over. So we played for down one here. We'll see if that's going to work out well for us. I can't imagine people not bidding game on this hand. Uh, notice what's happening here. This is just a really big misfit. Right? And they find, obviously, the best choice of leads here. But uh, we end up doing well to lose the second diamond to our righty over there. This was a total guess, by the way. This is just, hey, let's hope that they have some issues. And whoever wins this one, it's good for us. But at this moment, we just, I don't think we can make it. Yeah, we're, we're down three, by the way, if we take a heart finesse, because now they just run clubs. So we did well to play for down one. And really, this is the best way. It gives us the biggest bang for our buck. We get to take all our winners, and then we decide whether not to take our finesse and the decision was made for us right we led a spade and they showed out so easy stuff um could we have ever made this let's see uh no not on a club lead good job mr and mrs robot or mr mr robot who knows <laughs> but uh we'll take that one it looks like it should be somewhat reasonable as far as uh a, a result stream i guess if you played one of those major suits 
you might do okay if you if you play hearts maybe who knows okay whatever on to the next one hand number seven easy stuff right here we open a spade three spades this should be kind of our standard limit major suit raise and this is a tough one to deal with we have a good hand. We have the Jack of Clubs singleton. We just have a lot of gaps in our hand, and we don't really know how good – we know how good partner's hand is. It's it's at most 12, right, but it's probably around 10 or 11, and it's kind of depending on where these, where these cards are. If they're in clubs, not so great. If they're in diamonds and hearts, pretty awesome. Ah, uh, I wonder what the field does here. I would say the field mostly passes. Maybe they bid. I don't know. I'm going to bid. I'm going to bid because I have shortness and partner tables like the best hand. Maybe they could table. Um, King of Diamonds lead. We kind of like that as long as it's not. Ooh, 10. We're, we're okay with that. Our recipe, once again, folks, draw Trump, play our long suit. Wow. Trumps are 4-0. Interesting. Uh, we can afford to do this. Okay. All right. They're going to rough that. That's fine because that's a loser anyway, it looks like. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're going to have to lose one more diamond, unfortunately, at least, and a club. So we're not going to make this thing, and we're going to need to maybe rough a few things here as well. So let's play this to the jack. Now it's going to come diamond through, unfortunately. Oh, good. They did not do that. King of hearts, and we can pitch a diamond. And we'll play the six of hearts and rough that there. And then we'll try to get back to our hand. We'll draw a round of trump. And unfortunately, they have to lose a diamond. I have no way we can get rid of this. Uh, I think we did okay here for down one. What a brutal, brutal spot this is. Uh, we just end up having too many losers. And what a what an interesting choice of leads by the robot. Usually not the best to lead singleton honors. Um, but on, on this one, it ends up being, you know, a pretty good choice that not that they have too many bad choices over there, but now this just opens it up for an immediate, you know, destruction. Basically, we, even if we don't realize the diamond rough, we're going to have to lose two diamonds. We have a heart loser always, and we always have a club loser. So this is just another situation where, uh, in my book, I mean, it's going to be interesting. Those who stopped in three spades get, get rewarded, but really, <laughs> When this dummy comes down, folks, and the king of diamonds is led, I am not upset that I've bid a game, right? I'm so happy that I see three small clubs. I see shortness in hearts, a suit that I have some gaps in, and four cards in that trump suit. So this hand is amazing when it comes down. You're super happy you bid it until you end up having to play the sucker, and then, and then it's a little problem. This one is interesting already, uh, this last chance to, ex to excel here. We have 16, is that right? Yeah, 16 high card points, and our partner opened one heart. So we're going to game force. We're going to take it as, wow, partner has not only extra values. They should have extra values here, but they have a, a secondary fit. We're going to bid three hearts. They're going to bid four hearts. I'm going to bid four no trump. Usually not supposed to do this with cards like this. But here's what I know about the robot. I know that with all their minimum hands, they'll just go back to two hearts. So this three club bid is probably some extra values. I guess we could bid four spades to show control and see if partner wants to do something. Um, I mean, that would show our, our, our hand pretty well. And now, now they want to key card, so that's good. We'll show two with the queen. Ace of spades, ace of hearts, queen of, sp queen of hearts. Six hearts. Let's dance. Let's hope we're good. Could we possibly make two slams in one session? Well, it's gonna. we're going to need the king of clubs on side or some help in that suit. Um Let's find out if we get it. Diamond, diamond. Okay, we have no losers there now. Now we're going to play a heart to the ace. Heart to the king. All right. We're still alive, folks. We're still alive. Queen of clubs. Let's go. Cover. Cover. I want to I wanna drop sing singleton king right now. If it's happening. It's just. Robots are almost always covering in this spot. I mean, they would almost always cover. I'm going to feel like a fool in two different ways here. If the, It's silly to think about dropping Singleton King, but the negative inference of the club position is kind of interesting. Um, when, they, when the robot doesn't cover, it seems just less likely that they have the king. 
and and what for what we know about the robots. The eight of clubs is just a weird card, but it could be like eight seven deuce, right? That could be their holding over there, and righty could just have singleton king. But if singleton king, I'm sorry, if king whatever is to my left, now I've just kind of I'm I'm going to look silly, <laughs> basically for not taking a finesse. I'm going to take the finesse. Don't be Singleton King. I guess we'll find out right now. We're going to claim. Was it Stiff King? Yeah, thank you. It was King Third. <laughs> All right, so bad job bidding the slam, but but not too terrible as far as the result is concerned. And and let me give you my result stream when I when I get the uh, uh, the provisional result here. Okay. All right. Last board was bad for us. I was just thinking about this before I started playing. I, I can almost never get a full pull on my on my score sheet in this event, meaning I usually always have like one or two that are kind of subpar results and it's tilting. You know, it's just like, come on, give me give me one just really good run through this. And and this last one is just a, a risk, right? I bid a lot on this hand with, with only a 16 count. I was buoyed by the possibility of having a source of tricks here. We're a little unlucky with our wastage in spades, folks. Look at that. We have nine points in a suit that we only have three cards cards in so if these points are more evenly distributed in one of our hands especially if it's the club king this is an easy slam to play as long as hearts are breaking but this is unfortunate the the penalty for bidding too much is a lower result because everyone else in four hearts is just tying for top and taking 11 tricks when uh, the rest of us are uh, only taking uh, or taking 11, but uh, going minus instead of plus uh, 450 on this one. So we'll take it. Uh, board number three, let's just see what ha what happened here. Um, this is where we played four hearts. And I'm wondering why this was uh, this was a lower score for us. Interesting. Because we, we were kind of at the mercy of our opponents. Maybe if maybe if we play spades first, they they make a mistake or something. But at this point, when they get off to a diamond lead, it's just it's tough to do well in that hand. More or just tough to do better than making five. Um, the rest of them look pretty solid, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you did well playing it. And don't worry if you didn't do well, you have another chance next week. So I'll see you for that, folks. Hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you back at these tables soon.